Hi guys, Dreams of Violets here. It has been forever since I've made a video. So today I've decided to do the non um, BJD, non Dolly biotag thing. I don't know what it's called, but basically it's questions about myself. So I had to write some stuff down, but I'm pretty much just gonna try to answer what comes off the top of my head and hopefully the video won't be too long so here we go um do i have other hobbies and if so what are they um yes i do um i read a whole lot um, i write i art journal and i've shown my art journal in the um show your crafting spaces video I would show it to you now, but, oh, it's right there. I was about to say I don't know where it is. But anyway, so yes, I do. Um, and those three things, I think, can be encompassed and twined into BJDs, including reading, because I get a lot, of in, a lot of my inspiration for things in general from reading. Um, and also, I dabble in some other crafts from time to time. Nothing really constant, but I, constant, but I do crochet. I do a teeny bit of sewing, not lately. Um, and I think February is crafting month. And in February, I usually try to try something new. Um, so yeah. Do I have any other collections? The answer is yes, absolutely. And the easiest way for you guys to see that is for me at the end of this video to just kind of show you this room, which will explain that yes, I do collect, and you can just imagine the rest of my house being similar with a disclaimer about that the room is a lot more disheveled than it usually is. Um, the third one. Where do I live and why do I not like it or like it? I live in New Jersey. Why do I not like it? because of the stigma of New Jersey. <laughs> I mean, as soon as you hear New Jersey, you think you have like a picture in your mind. But um, including me, I'm not a native New Jerseyan, which is a huge difference in somebody who's from New Jersey. I always joke that if you're from New Jersey and you live in New Jersey, you are in heaven, you think you're in heaven. And if not, you think, how did I get in Jersey? But that being said, where I live is beautiful. I love it. Um, two blocks up from the Delaware River, there's a um, boathouse on the river. You get to see the sailboats out all spring and summer. Um, they're just the last of them are getting put away these couple weeks. I live two blocks down from Main Street. There's a teeny weeny library that's a little yellow house. There's a French patisserie. There's an old fashioned ice cream shop. Um, there used to be the Sprite Seafood Restaurant, but it closed down and opened up into a breakfast shop, which I don't know why anybody would go there when you could have breakfast at the French patisserie, but <coughs> anyway, so yeah, I love where I live. Um, but more on that, that later. Um, TV and movies. Honestly, this question, how do you answer this question quickly? So let me tell you first about my TV thing. First of all, for about three or four years, like, let's see, what is it right now? 2013? From like 2008 to around 2011, I almost completely did not watch TV. And for a period of that time, I actually didn't even own a TV. I know, weird. I didn't miss it at all. Um, that's just, you know. And so I didn't watch TV shows, which is very difficult for water cooler conversations because everybody wants to talk about the show on TV. And I'd be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, but uh, then I got in like 2000 maybe the end of 2011, I got Netflix and all that changed. I watched Netflix. I still, my TV, like I don't have cable. 
I don't have satellite. I don't have any way of bringing outside things onto my TV. I just watch videos um, on my TV. Um, and then I watch TV, like shows off of Netflix, or I watch them at my mother's house, who is a four minute drive and about a 15, 20 minute walk up the river. So I just go to her house. She has, she lives alone and she has four TVs. So, um, so that's what generally what I do, but I do have a show that I am obsessed with. I am obsessed with Supernatural, um, probably a little too much. Um, and I have been obsessed with like there's certain shows that I watch with my mother. Um, we watch uh, The New Girl, which is hilarious. We watch um, Downton Abbey together. Um, oh, my other obsession um, is Doctor Who, but I'm behind on episodes because my mother doesn't have sci-fi channel and it's not the, the most recent episodes are on Netflix. So it's quite frustrating. Um, but I, do, I tend to like a lot of sci-fi or fantasy-ish shows or else really hilarious, like The New Girl or Big, Big Bang Theory. Um, movies. So for a long time, I was really obsessed with movies back when, you know, this little thing called Blockbuster was around. And I used to rent videos probably about three times a week. And I used to go to the movies um, probably once or twice, once a week, once every two weeks. Um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> and now I was just thinking about it when I was um, looking at this question. And honestly, I couldn't tell you the last time I went to the movies or what I saw. And I was trying to think of like a list of a couple of movies that I love. And I was trying to think of something recent and I could not think of anything recent. I don't know that I've seen that I like. So just a couple, like to kind of let you know that my taste, which I think vary a lot, um, I love The Shining. I love scary movies. Um, like ghosts, zombies, unnatural things. I don't particularly like uh, like slasher. This is a human being that just is out of their gourd and going to kill you. That's a little too close to... You know, there are really crazy people out there. That's a little too much for me. Um, unless it's like the teen scream things, those I like. By the way, I could go on. I just watched um, Rosemary's Baby the other day, and I just want to vent about how like ugh, frustrating that movie was. <laughs> but um, I love Cat on Hot Tin Roof. I love Imitation of Life. It's the only movie that has ever made me cry because I'm an emotionless robot. Um, the Royal Tenenbaums, that's my type of humor. Um, like that I think is hilarious. I like uh, a lot of the comic book adaptation movies, um, uh, especially the Marvel comic adaptation movies. Um, what's next? anime i watch a little um not enough to really know i say i know anything about it um like i said um no tv for a long time pretty much the only things that i've watched have been on netflix but, um so yeah not hugely into that music i could just do like a whole video or video series on the music I like. I honestly don't even know where to start. Just, we'll just say I like everything. And um, I don't play any instruments or anything. I 
was in choir pretty much my whole life, either in school or in church, um, from a little kid all the way through college. And I was in musical theater. I was a musical theater major for a half second. Um, I think I'm a musician that just never learned how to play an instrument. I always wanted to play the saxophone. My dad was hugely, hugely, hugely into jazz, a huge jazz fan. And when I was really little, I used to hate it and be like, why don't you listen to music with words? But I don't know, it just got into my soul and I just loved the way the saxophone sounds in jazz. And I always wanted to play the saxophone. Sax bleh, saxophone. And the other thing I love in jazz is the bass. Those two things just make me go insane with happiness. But yeah, I like everything. Um, there's some country that I like, generally older stuff. More than like the new country. There's um, hip hop that I like. There's pop music that I like. There's um, alternative that I like. There's like rock folk. That's probably the biggest genre y that I like. Sort of like uh, folky, rocky, really good uh, feeling lyrics and, and really good um, instrument like guitar and yeah. Um, oh no, you know what I like even more than that is um, like 60s and 70s rock and like 60s R&B, Motown, oh, just amazing stuff. I feel like music today, and I love music today, but it just doesn't have anything on, you know, those time periods. I think it also has a lot to do with, you know, so much going on and those times being such um, so much change going on at those times that sort of the music really reflected that um, I even I like music I like to look I actively search out music from other countries because I feel like we miss out when we like limit ourselves to just music from America um, books is this a joke? I like books. Like, a lot. Um, <laughs> let's see. How about I just show, like, what books are on my uh, coffee table right now. I have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I have a whole pile of children's Halloween books. I have John Steinbeck's of Mice and Men, I have Game of Thrones, I have The Elegance of the Hedgehog, A Place Apart, um, Shanghai Girls, The Works of Edgar Allan Poe, The War Between the Classes, just to give you a little taste of, you know, you'll see in my, when I look, show my whatever, my living room, that I have a lot of books too. Um, I like books that are good. I like the books that are bad. Like, I like books that I hate. For instance, I hate the book, um, Lord of the Flies, and I could talk about it for hours of why I hate it. <laughs> uh, travel. Where would I like to go? Everywhere. Um, I think I suffer from wanderlust a lot. I've been to England. I've been to Bermuda. I've been to uh, Canada. Um, I've been to a lot of a lot of states in the United States. Where where bleh, where else have I been? Is that it? I guess that's it. But yeah, um, um, really want to just go everywhere. My favorite food. If you're talking about like type of food, like in a wide variety, like I like American food or whatever, then um, I'd say I like spicy food. 
Like, I like Indian food, Mexican food, Thai food. I really like spicy, but if we're just talking about, like, this one food, like, this food I like more than anything, that would be shrimp. If you feed me shrimp every day, I probably would not complain. Random facts about me you may not know. I have lived, um, in my 20s, I lived in four different states. Um, I lived in suburban Pennsylvania and in the city of Philadelphia. I lived in, oh wait, was it four? Nope, three. In my life I've lived in four different states. Um, so, then I've lived, I lived in Southern California, the border of Orange County and LA County. And now I live in New Jersey and I grew up in Colorado. So I've been sort of both coasts and a little bit, well, it's Colorado's considered the West, but it's just not the West Coast, um, which I feel has really shaped sort of my ideals on things. I feel like I'm pretty open person to differences because I've lived in such different places and there definitely is a big difference culture all the way down to like what do you call soda pop or soda or soda pop I've lived in places where it's called both so um what's your favorite color my favorite color colors my favorite absolute favorite color is purple but too close Behind the purple is gray and um, brown. Do you have any pets? I do not have any pets at this moment. I keep saying I'm gonna buy a fish. I actually have the fish steak and everything for it. I even have a pit name picked out for it. Um, I still have yet to buy it. What I really want is a dog. I want a dog so bad. Just keep me away. Like if they're giving away dogs, I should not be there because I might bring it home. I just feel like I don't have the finances to take care of the dog right now. Like it's everyday needs. I think I'd be fine. But if God forbid something happened to it and it had to go to a vet and there was a big vet bill, I just don't feel like I would be able to handle that at this moment in time. So even though I want one so much, and even though I have people in my life who are like, let's go, you are going to get a dog today. I'm like, I can't right now. Um, what do I do for a living? Okay. Uh, I'm in what you would call a transition period or uh, what have I done with my life period? Or uh, let me scream or cry or I don't know what to do, period. Um, my degree is in education. I pretty much, for the most part, with a brief period of not, I've been teaching right since I got out of college. Um, I, te I taught in the city of Philadelphia for a while. Then um, I took a break and went back to school. That's when I went, lived in California. I was back in school for something completely different for a while and decided, uh, well, for musical theater, decided it wasn't for me after all moved to New Jersey, started teaching in New Jersey, been at the greatest school ever, um, loved it there, loved it, loved it, loved it. I was actually, it was a brand new school. I was the first teacher to be hired. Um, I got it off, and because I wanted to go back and get my master's as a reading specialist, I have I've had an opportunity to work a ton less hours much closer to home, even though it's in Philadelphia and I live in New Jersey, it's still closer because I live right on the border of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Um, it's not working with kids. It's actually working with the elderly. I'm a service coordinator for them in, an, uh, in a senior center, in an apartment building. So it kind of spans, I do, I do a lot of things from them, just from like helping them pay their bills all the way to fi figuring out what um, sort of things are available to them from like uh, in 
a person that comes in to help them to meals on wheels to programs that they can go to that will help them to like just the span of things and it's all right but I'm not passionate about it I'm passionate about teaching I feel like I'm good at teaching I don't really feel like I'm good at this job I don't connect with the people the way I connect with kids and um the money isn't really what I thought it would be and right now I feel like I can't afford to go back to school either so I feel like I'm kind of stuck and what did I do to myself and I'm trying to figure that out is that it I think that's all the questions uh, feel free to ask me any other questions you want to know about me this is I guess kind of fun if you make it make it through to the end kudos for you <laughs> Because I think it's interesting to hear what other people say. I don't necessarily think it's interesting what I have to say. But I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.